Thank you, Lord. Amen. Oh, Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for this opportunity to have a class. Oh, Lord, as we have this class, help us to be able to remember whatever our teacher teaches us. And at the end of the day, let us let us pass time for those in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So, data processing, just questions and answers. I just compile some questions and answers, some likely exam questions. So, let's go through them. So, number one. So, please, I'll be asking you guys to, and let's be fast. And there's no, remember, we are here to learn. We are not here to show that. We are not here to, like, determine who, who is the best or who knows more than the other person. So please, I ask you, give me your answer. Even if you are wrong, we'll correct you. We'll learn together. Please, let's learn how to learn and learn. Huh? So please, number one question there says, who developed the first digital electrical computer? Who developed the first digital electrical computer? So what do you think is the answer? If you are fast, we'll finish on time. We'll cover more questions. I have plenty of questions here, depending how fast we are. So what do you think is the answer? I need, I need C, C. All right. Another option, another one, another guess. Okay, let's see. Let's see the answer. Is the answer correct? Yes, the answer is correct. I just gave a brief, a detail of the answer. The, below the answer, you see a brief detail of what the, the, the full name of the person that discovered it. He said, John, Mark, John William Marshley and Prosper Eckert are the scientists created with the invention of electronic numerical integrator and computer, ENIAC. And this computer was known as the first general multiple, general purpose electronic digital computer. This was done in 1946. So please take note of that. Move straight to the next question. So Timothy, you've answered one. So I'm going to I'm going around one by one. You're going to ask. So who is taking this one? Which are the following? Apart from Timothy, who is taking this one? Which are the following? So me. Gary, are you not taking this? So it's so me. me. <laughs> because this one is very simple, right? All right, because Eric said it first, let's give it to Derry. Which of the following factor is not considered when classifying computers? So very location. I, Esther, did not ask you now. Uh. <laughs> All right, location is location is correct, but I want us to do something. I want us to do something. Location is the right answer. But I want to ask you if you see, you have to classify computer according to size. What are the classification? Let's refresh our memory. Who can remember? Hi. When you are so classifying micro, computer, huh? Micro, micro mini, micro mini, mini frame, frame, good, good, good. If you classify computer according to size, according to type, sorry, according to type, uh, so analog, digital, and hybrid. Analog. Good, good. What of according to purpose? Special, Special purpose, purpose computer and general. Purpose. general. Special purpose the hair. And general purpose. General purpose computer. Where do you not have hybrid? Eh? All right, all right. If I'm okay, we're okay, okay. Let's move further. Let's move. So our answer is location A. Location A. So number three. So who is going for this one now? Pick now before I call you. Who is going for this? Check it. The first Sorry. person. Uh -huh. Sorry. 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 Uh, check it. How about so this question of Derek? <laughs> eh, <laughs> let him take it now. What is the answer? So the answer is is wave card. Yeah, yeah. Can you see? <laughs> is it yes, C? Sir. Yes, sir. Fure is smiling. Fure, why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, what is your answer? So, so it's SIM card. It's SIM card. Fure, what do you think? This guy. <laughs> Fure, what do you think now? I SIM card. All right, there is this with SIM card. Mastercard is a type of is a type of ATM card. Please take notes. Credit card is also a journey for ATM card. 
Then valve card is a type of ATM card too. Valve card, you have valve, you have visa. There are three types of cards that's common in our location here in Nigeria, which is MasterCard, valve card, and visa card. All of them generally, they either call either a credit card or debit card, depending. So it's only SIM card that is awkward. And that means you can use them to, for any transaction online. You can use them to buy or sell goods online. You understand? So that is the answer is actually, the answer is actually SIM card. SIM card. So the next question, I know you've seen this answer. I hope you didn't see it. Who is speaking this? Who is speaking? Treasure, are you with us? I answered the question. But you didn't want to answer the previous one? Yes. Okay, I thought it's Esther. Oh, yeah, Esther, take this one. Which of the following is a negative impact of ICT in education? Which of the following? Is negative impact. Is a negative impact of ICT in education. Shall it. <laughs> Shall it. It. Huh? Okay. A. What is A? What is the meaning of plagiarism? You can explain. All right. Okay. Go on. If you should, I think. So plug it. Plug it. Plagiarism. Plagiarism. <laughs> taking someone else. All right. See what we'll do. Actually, I intend, my intention was to make it as assignment. So please take note. Assignment number one. You're going to check the meaning of plagiarism. The answer. I'm not going to explain anymore. You already know that e-library is an advantage of ECL, ICT. You also know that distance learning is an advantage of ICT. And computer based test, which is your like your CBT, is what you call your CBT. It's an advantage too. So the guys is your code, is your code one day. So let's go to the next one. The next question says, why are we taking this one? Which of the following are parts of the computer processor? Wow, we did this one in our last computer class. Who has no answer? Ima, I have picked this one. Answer this one. We're in our last class, in last computer class, Ima. Ima, we're in your class, our computer class. Yeah, he was. Did he ask you? This is Gilly. <laughs> See, treasure, treasure, what do you, okay, treasure, what do you, what's your answer? <laughs> treasure, go ahead. Timothy, leave, leave treasure alone. Yes, sir. Um, the answer is, is controlling it like ALU. All right. What is AL? Remind me now. Remind us. What is AL? Arithmetic um, logic unit. Good. So remember, I told you basically the CPU is divided into two parts control units and the arithmetic. That is very correct. So that is the answer to that. So the next question. Please read this one very well. This one, you need to apply some mathematics reasoning. This one said, two computers, X and Y, are such that the processor in X has a word size of 32 bits. Why that of Y is 16 bits? Which of the following statements is true? Which of the following statement is true? A says S can process half as much as data, as much data as Y at the same time. B says S can process the same amount of data as Y at the same time. C says S can process two times as much as Y at the same time. Why they said X can process four times as much as data as Y at the same time. So who has not answered any question here before? Somewhere you're just coming in. Well done. Afure, answer this one. Yes. The answer is. Guys, funny. Where's your answer? C. C. 
All right, let's see. Let's see whether you are correct. And the answer is C, correct. Correct. S can process two times as much as data, as much data as Y at the same time. So, because S has two times the size width of Y. All right. Next question. The next question says, number seven here, yeah, which of the following is not an ancient medium for transmitting information? Why are we taking this one? Simon, you that just come and answer this one. This is very simple. Which one is not an ancient medium for transmitting information? A, fire lighting. B, beating of drums. C, telephone. D, whistling. Telephone. Ah, what did you say? Telephone, telephone. All right, let's see whether you are correct. And our answer is telephone. Next question. All right. A server is a computer that provides services to other computers called Dash. A server is a computer that provides services to other computers called Dash. A clients, B peers, C routers, D switches. All right, who is taking this one? Who is taking this one? All right, or yeah, you can text you. All right. What do you think is the answer to this? Sir? I take this question, I try. Answer the question for us. Sir, C, routers. Routers, okay. Sir, C. Another person, would anybody have another option? Is there another option? I want somebody to try. So, uh, red is not correct. I only one more guess. Clients. Clients? Let's see. Let's see the answer. Let's see what it is. And the answer is clients. Okay, let's look at what client is. I gave a, a simple definition. Please take note of this definition. A client is a piece of computer, piece of computer hardware or software that assesses a service made available by a server. So we have the server and the client. If you go to a server cafe, you see people, you see a lot of computers, I see people browsing. There's a server computer inside the room that serves all those computers you normally see. So that is the way it normally works. So we have servers and clients, servers and clients. The next question, number nine. Number nine says, the rules for exchanging data on the, the rules, there are some rules that computers use for exchanging data on the network. What is that rule? What is it called? A, transmission rules, B, transfer rules, C, protocols, and D, configurations. All right, who is taking this one for us? Who is taking this one? Treasure, put on your camera now, please. Denzel, Denzel, Oh, Matchono, please take this question. Answer this question. What do you think is the answer? C protocols. C protocols. Any other option? All right. Any other option? Okay, let's see the answer. And the answer is protocol. You are correct. What are protocols? Protocol on the internet. A collect there's a collection of rules. On the internet, the collection of rules about, okay, please correct that English or that sentence. Collection of rules used for exchanging of data between computers is actually called protocol. So it's very, very correct. So we'll go to the next question. The next question says ASCII. ASCII and EBC, they normally call it. Okay, this is not the one I wanted to mention. EBCDIC are popularly character coding system. What does EBCDIC stands for? What does it stand uh, for? What does it stand uh, for? Uh, <laughs> so we can't know it. Why? You can't. You can't know it. Doesn't mean others can't know it. Timothy, so don't I, use that. So I've never seen. 
So I've never seen so this. I've never Seriously? Yes. yes. Have you seen her ski before? A S C I N. Have you seen ASCII before? All right. Uh, I need a guess now. Just guess. Uh, e, B, C, D, I, C is extended binary coded decimal interchange code. So you are telling us it's option word A. Is that what you are saying, Free? So is, um, I think it's A. Yeah. All right, let's see whether you are correct. Let's go to the answer. And the answer is yes, she's correct. <laughs> Extended binary coded decimal interchange code. Thank so, Timothy, from now on, no more excuse. You have seen it now. So, assignment yes, number two. Remind me, what was our assignment number one? What was our assignment number one? Thank you. Good, good, good. Realizing. Assignment number two. Also, look for the meaning of ASCII. A S A. Look at it. That first one. A S C I I. Check the full meaning of ASCII. We normally call it ASCII, shall? Short form. But it's an abbreviation. A S C I I. So the next question. Let's go to the next question. Univac. Many of you must have seen this one before. You must have seen this. Univac means dash. Fee. What is the meaning of univac? She will say, Mr. Jesus, bombard, bombarding her with questions. She's just coming in. I won't move allow her to rest. All right, Treasure, answer this one for us. Univac. Um, so I think this universal um, automated computer. All right, that is all. Option what? Sorry. Yes. All right. That should be option A. Okay. Yes. I don't know whether you are correct too. Any other option? Let's see whether she's correct. And the answer is hey, she's correct. Univac means universal automatic computer. Please take note of these words. Take note of these things. Jot that down. The next question. The next question says. The brain of any computer system is dash. What do we normally call the brain of the computer system? What do we normally call? Emmanuel, answer this one. Emmanuel Martins, answer this one. What is the brain of the computer called? Is it the arithmetic logic units? Is it the memory? Is it the CPU? Or is it the control units? Remember, CPU means central processing units. Emmanuel, are you there? You might try this one. Put on your audio. No. Yes. Okay. I can't, I didn't hear you. Sir? I didn't hear you. What is your option? That is CPU. CPU. All right. Yes, Let's sir. see. Let's see whether you are correct. And the answer is CPU. Correct. CPU means central processing units. The next question. If you are in our last class, you in the computer, you remember this. The two kinds of main memories are. The two kinds of main memory are, are Timothy answer this one. Let's see. This one is a little bit confusing. I know it's a little bit confusing, but let me see the person that will get the specific answer. What am I saying? Yes. So Rome around. All right. I don't know. Well, Samuel, what do you think? Is it correct? All right. Enze, uh, Derek, what do you think? 
Emmanuel, please, there's a noise coming from your background, please. We have some noise coming from your background. Roma Ram. Roma Ram, okay. So it's, it's between PDP and APC now. All right, Fure, what do you want you go for? Is it Roma Ram or primary and secondary? Roma Ram. Roma Ram. Esther, which one do you go for? Sorry, Roma Ram. Uh, Somewhere, don't worry, don't worry, don't me you are wrong. Just hold up. Let's see. Pressure, which one do you go for? Is Treasure with us? Right, let's see the answer. Let's check yes. the answer. Are you going with Rome or secondary and primary? All right, the answer is Romaran. Now, listen again, listen again. If they ask you, list or mention the two types of memory, what I expect you to answer is what? This is the answer. Either you say primary memory and secondary memory, or you say main memory and what? Secondary memory. So another name for primary memory is main memory. You get that somewhere. So, but when I ask you the types of main memory now, I don't even have ROM and RAM. You get that now? So ROM and RAM is the main memory. Remember the question? The question actually said main memory. That is primary memory. This is ROM and RAM. So let's move on. Number 14. So when a computer is free from tiresome and boredom, Holly, what do we say that computer is? Unlike human beings. Can we, for we humans, we can get tired and we can be bored. But computer doesn't get tired and bored. So what do we, what quality of computer is that? All right. We are feeling our airports out. Participate in our class, join us. What option are you going for? Is it accuracy? Is it diligence? Is it versatility? Pick anyone. There's no, we are not fighting. We are not, no wrong answer. We are all learning. Um, sorry, that, is, that is B. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do you have any odd objection? Do you go with her or you're objecting what she said now? So I go with her. All right. Denzel, Denzel Machunu, what about you? Sir, Sir I think the answer is B. B. So we are, yes. we are going with B. All yes, right. sir. Oh, is how are here? Timothy, what's your own? Hey, sir, it's not me. <laughs> okay. Is it Derek? Derek, what is your own then? So I see. Hey, you're going with A. Timothy, so Derek, what is your own? Okay. So I said C. Okay, Derek says C. Timothy, which are you going with? Pick one. So, so I don't know. <laughs> Just pick one. Just pick one. Just guess. So I'll go with my daddy. <laughs> See this guy. <laughs> you go with your daddy. Okay, daddy, guys. Fure, which are you going with? A diligence. You said? Diligence. I should follow us. I should read it again. I said diligence. Diligence. That is C. Okay, she's going with Derek too. But I don't know whether it's a Derek. Fure, is it, is it your Derek? How <laughs> <laughs> about Fure? <laughs> <laughs> Esther, what are you going with? All right. Let's see. Let's see the answer. The answer is diligence. Let me explain. Let me explain it. Let me explain. It. All this, all the options here, they are all qualities of computer. These are qualities of computer. Sir, but human beings are also diligent, but the rest now also. Hey, the question is, what do you understand by diligence? What is diligence? <laughs> What is diligence? What do you normally understand by diligence? So let's explain one by one in computer terms now. 
When he says something, so actually, like you are you are dedicated to something. Yes, you are correct. But okay, let, let me explain them one by one so you understand better. For accurate, when you say computer is accurate, see what you are trying to say. When you say computer is accurate, it means whatever you give that computer, computer will give you back. That's accurate. That's what I mean by accurate. If you put nonsense into it, you get nonsense. It will give you accurate nonsense. If you put something that is that is organized, you give you that same thing accurately. That's what I mean by accuracy. But look at the question. That's not what the question is talking about. Now let's look at number two. Number two says it's reliable. Reliable means that whatever answer or whatever output the computer is giving you, you can work with it. If you perform maybe two plus two, it's giving you as four. Just so that the answer is reliable. You can use it anywhere. You can defend it anywhere. Computer will always give you a reliable answer. But look at our question. That's not what our question is talking about. And when you talk about diligence, let me use this. There's some teachers who explain diligence to you as continuous hard work. You know, human beings, we can be hardworking, but we, get, we can get tired. Remember? So diligence is like you, you somebody that is hardworking, but will not get tired. So in this form, that's what we mean by when you say computer is what? is not tiresome. Computer is not tired, cannot get tired. So that computer is diligent. So it doesn't get tired. Except you are the one that shut it down, or if you or you have a breakdown, then you versatility. I don't know you. Versatility is like computer can perform so many functions at the same time, or numerous functions, or more than one function at the same time. So that is versatility. Or you or it can do so many things. You can play music, you can type, and things like that. So I hope it's clear now. All right. So the answer is diligence. Diligence. The next question, the next question said in computer technology, in computer technology, information means dash. Joshua, if you see, answer this one for us. In computer technology, information means A, alphanumeric data, B, program, C, data in more useful or intelligent form, and D, raw data. Emo, Joshua, I go see. It's a, it's a raw data. Answer. Raw data, right? Any other? Buzu, Buzu, up and pronounce your name very well. Am I getting that pronunciation, Samuel? Buzu, is it Buzu? Huh? Is that the way you could call it? Put on your audio somewhere. Yes, sir. All right. Buz, are you with us? Where is he? Where is he? I saw him just now. Oh, he left again. I want everyone to participate too. So, Ima, are you going with a uh, goosey? It's a raw data. Uh, yeah, I, agree I, with think, you. Uh, I think C. All right, C. All right, Finn, what about you? What do you think between C and D? Emmanuel, just like you said, D. Emmanuel said C. Or are you going for A or B? C. Yeah, okay. All right, Samuel, what issue are you going for now? Thank God, Derek, you will not go with your Derek this time. So I see. See, All right, let's see the answer. Let's see the answer. And the answer is C. Please take notice. C. Information actually means process data or data in more useful or intelligible form. So that is C. So raw data is actually called data or input data, input info signal or unprocessed information. So the next question, computer cannot do anything without a dash. Computer cannot do anything without a dash. Who is taking this one? A, program. B, output devices or device. C, chip. Is that the chip? D, memory. Ture, take this one. What is your answer? Thank you. 
Twitter cannot do anything with that dash. Which one do you go with? I can't hear you. You are still thinking. Will I pick anyone now? Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh, your device is okay. Okay. You, Pure went with A. She went with A. All right. Any other option? Any other? Any objection? Esther, what do you so think? I think? So A. All right. Timothy, do you think is what? So, so I think memory. Memory, okay. Samuel, what do you think? So me too. I think is memory. All right. So, program. Program, okay. Now let's see the answer. Okay. Let's see the answer. And the answer is program. The answer is program. Let me explain something. I know this one is very confusing. Because actually, computer actually need all of this. You check it very well. If you are sincere, if you check it, computer actually need all of this to work very well. But there's one that will not be, if it's not there, the rest will not work. And that one is actually program. That one is actually, if there's no memory, computer can still work. It may not work very well. It might have some issue, but it will work. You understand? It will work. So the answer is C, program. The next one. The next one says, magnetic tape can serve as dash. Magnetic tape can serve as dash. Magnetic tape can serve as dash. Is already with us. Treasure, are you still with us? I'm not hearing from you. Ore and Treasure. Yes, I'm still here. All right, give us your answer. Yes, I'm still here. All right. I'm still in class. All right. Ore and Treasure, I want to hear your answers. What do you think is the answer to this one? So I think it's A. All right. Magnetic tape can serve as secondary storage media. All right. Treasure, what do you think? So I cannot see the question. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Check, mm -hmm. Check your device. See your classmate, they say, mm hmm? So that but means this last one you just asked about program and memory and those options, I think it's A too. Uh, you mean, are you referring to number 17 uh, or number 16? Uh, eh? I need to be seen. I cannot see the question. Okay. <laughs> Please check your audio. My check internet your connection is unstable. All right, all right. Okay, let, can I read the question for Should I read it? Now? Yes, ma'am. All right, the question is number 17 and it says, Magnetic tape can serve as dash. A. Secondary storage media. B. Input media. C. Output media. D. All of the above. Or all of this. So what do you think? A. Secondary storage media. B. Input media. C. Output media. D. All of these. Magnetic tape. What do you think is the answer? So I, I think it's A. All right. So let's look at the answer. Let's go to where see whether you are correct. And the answer is D. All of these. Let me check. Even me, I'm having doubts with that answer. Admit it. All right. All right. I think they are correct. Let's, example of a magnetic tip is floppy disk. Let me explain that question. Example of a magnetic tip is floppy disk. If you say magnetic tip is a storage device, a floppy disk, you are correct. And if you also say it's an MP device, that means you can, you can take in information from it. You can also be correct. You can also output, that means you can send information to it. You're also correct. So that is why the answer is all of this. Sir, sir. Yes. Sir, I don't agree. All right. Sir, if you say if you say you can, 
you can take information from it. That means uh, flash two. Flash two, it can be all of this now. All right. I think there's a point. There's a point in what you are saying. Magnetic tape. What about if you if you if you see magnetic tape as as a video recorder? What about if we see it as a video recorder? Think of it as a video recorder. Anyway, the answer is not that clear. Even me, when I saw the idea, I was shocked, but it's not that clear. But well, what we'll do is this. Maybe, maybe we'll have to research on it. Let's not waste our time or deliberate too much on it. I'll work on it again. But I know that definitely the answer should be supposed to be secondary stories media. But I'll we'll still work on it. Let's not go and since we don't have for me maybe i don't have all the information that I have now so let's go next a collection of eight bits a collection of eight bits eight bits is called dash we told you we've done something like this before a collection of eight bits so what do we think is the answer uh derek take this one so i would Eight bits is what? All right. Yeah. Timothy, you don't agree? You're not going with your Derek this time. Sorry. No, sir. All right. Which are you going with? Sir, go with bites. All right. All right. Joshua Gusi, are you with us? Which are you going with? Sir, B. B word. Word. Right. All right. Samuel, what are you going with? So I'll go with Nibble D. Nibble D. So we have, okay, nobody has gone with A. Nobody's going with A. Treasure. Are you, are you seeing your uh, screen now? Treasure, can you see our screen now? No, sir. Ah. The network, please work on it too. All right, Esther Peters, which one are you going with? Esther, are you with us? Which one are you going with? Yes. It's confusing, right? Yes, All right, let's, yes, let's, look the, let's look at the answer. Okay, uh, the answer is by assignment number three. Number one is what? Number one, what is regularism? Be writing it down. Number two is what? Remind me, what is number two assignment? Ask. 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 And number five, meaning of double word. I've already given so you the like double word. Uh, check it. Uh, check it. That is, your, that is why it's an assignment. So, number, number three, okay, let me put it this way. Number three is double word. Number four is word. And number five is nimble. Is that okay? Let's move on. Number 19. Oh, I think, oh. I'll, okay, let's see this one. And we are doing, we're going to do one of the one of the assignments is going to be done. Here. A collection of four bits is called dash. A collection of four bits is called dash. Let's spell this. Anyway, we are going to solve this. A collection of four bits is called dash. Oh yeah, alright. A collection of four bits, a bytes. B nimble, C double word, and D word. You just scramble the option. So I think I'll go with nimble. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Who is? Do you have another option? Finn, are you still with us? Who shall you going with? The same. The same? Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with you already. Abby? 
Don't mind these boys with corrupt mind. We are all brothers and sisters. Where is your brother? Yes. All right. Smoothie can you ever? Shut up. A collection of four beats. Let's look at the answer. The answer is Nibu. She's correct. So remove Nibu from the assignment. Remove Nibu from the assignment. The assignment yes. Four beats is Nibu. Eight beats is eight beats is bites. Four beats is Nibu. So remove beats, remove Nibu from the assignment. So number four, if number four, number three assignment as double word, then number four as word. All right, let's go to the next question. The next question says, a list of instruction used by a computer is called dash. A list of instruction used by a computer is called dash. Oh, Matthew, are you still with us? Oh, yeah, answer this one. A list of yeah. instructions or a list of instructions used by a computer is called dash. So a program. Program. Any objection? Ima, any objection? Ima, what do you think? Is it correct? Is it correct, Ima? Sorry, I'm going with danger. All right, you're going with your danger. All right, let's see the answer. Whether well, two of you are okay? Two of you are okay. Program. It's a set of instructions okay. that tells the computer what to do. Another word for program is a software. All right, let's move on. Number 21. Number 21 says, which of the following storage device can store maximum amount of data? Which of the following storage devices can store the maximum amount of data? A, floppy disks. B, hard disks. C, compact disks. D, magnetic disks. That means magnetic, not magnetic. Magnetic disks. Magneto. <laughs> it's magnetic disks. All right, Esther. Take over this one. What do you I think? think huh? I think it's B. You think it's B. Oh, yeah, who is going with Esther? Puri? Do you have objection? Any objection? I mean, I think it's D. All right. What is D? Yeah, it's not me. <laughs> Why are you lying, gay? That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but it's not it's not Timothy. It's not <laughs> that's, 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 that's Timothy. It's like Ore, that's Timothy. Hey, Ore. Ore. It's Timothy. 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 How about a chem? Why are you not lying? Confuse me. So so right, let me assume. Let me assume it's Timothy. Let me assume. <laughs> 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 All right, please go with South. Timothy and who is going with Esther. <laughs> Samuel, Samuel, are you going with the team? I'm going with Esther. You see, you see, you see, backing me. Ah, Ore is backing. Good imagine now, guys. I don't want to leave you. Guys, are you backing Esther? Fin, are you backing Esther? Oh, let's walk over. Eh? Fure, Fin, are you backing Esther? Fure and Fin, I can't hear you. I want to hear from you. Sergio, are you with us? Yes, sir. Are you going with Esther or you're going with Timothy? Sir, it's Ore. So top now, guy. I think I'm already backing you right together. Ore is already with you now. Huh? <laughs> All right, let's look at the answer. The answer is B. Addis. Achem, you see what? It's Ore. Achem, what? All right, please take note. No one here is higher than Hadis. In fact, I don't think there's any storage device that is more, that can store more than Hadis. I don't think there's any storage device that can store more than Hadis here. Please take note. Of course, in fact, in the world of computer, there's no one that can store more than Hadis. Hadis has the highest storage capacity. Floppy disk, who can tell me the storage capacity of floppy disk? 
I think there's a question here. I don't want, let me not answer it. I think I have that question later. What so about this? Question. What about compare this? So, so does they have a range? Eh? They have, no, they have a specific about, amount. Do you know what your compare this is? Your compare is a normal CD. Yes, yes. What is the size of that CD? So when you have, when you buy a CD, the amount of music inside, what is the size? What is the maximum size that that CD can carry? That's what I ask you. Or if you have a floppy disk, what is the maximum size, that, maximum capacity of that floppy disk? Or if you have a magnetic disk? We don't know it, but I should make it an assignment. Uh, no, sir. Sir, we know it, but I've forgotten. <laughs> that refresh our memories. I don't want to refresh our memory. Right. Right. Carry your pen, carry your pen and barrel. Carry your pen and barrel. Zero. Carry your pen and barrel. Sir, 847 MB. Ha, you are taking a card, yeah, answer, eh? Yeah, I think I'm not the correct answer. Let me inform you. God let me inform you, Achim. It's not the correct answer. Boom, boom, boom. So, I don't think you are very smart, eh? You don't have you. So, please. <laughs> please, a floppy disk is 1.44 MB. Take note. Write it down. Maximum capacity of a floppy disk is 1.44 MB megabytes. One point. So that means today. MB. Today, yes. That means one music. Uh, your floppy disk that you know cannot take a music today. Uh, uh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> but it's that really floppy disappointed me too. Then your compact disk, the, the size of the average compact disk is 750 MB. 750 MB. Then you have your DVD. I hope you know that your capacity of DVD is different from your compact disc, even though they look alike. So your DVD means your... What is the meaning of DVD again? You can remind me. Wait, so what is that between DVD and compact disc? Digital visual disc. It's different now. They are both CD, they are round. They are the same thing. But one, they are different. Okay. One is DVD, one is CD. That's so true. So how will you know? How will you know? By the size. One way to do is by this, checking the size. You, when you put it inside your system, you check the size. So the, the average size of a comp, of a DVD is 3.5 3 3.5 3 3 gigabytes. 3, around 3.5 gigabytes. So magnetic disks are not sure. So let me not give what I'm not sure. Will, so take it out. Let me check it out. So but the answer to this is hard disk. That's what that question. Please, I hope you took that down, took, the, took note of that. Now, the, yes. uh, I'll be taking our last question for today. Oh, oh, oh. Our last question for today will be number 22, because our time is well spent. <laughs> guy, you, you love it. <laughs> you see? A big dog guy. <laughs> All right. High density double sided floppy disk to store. Dash amount of data. So what's the answer, class? Why are telling me that? So one. Daddy. Trust me. Pure, go and do your research again. No, go and do your research for for compadis. Daddy. The answer is D. One point four four. Pure, I saw your chat. What is wrong with your audio now? Para um, Igusi. Is this a film? Oh, shut up! Shut up! So, Fure, Fure, please, Shut you are me. Do your research and get back to me. You have my email, you can send to me. Oh, Do your research okay. and get back to me. Then, this, the answer to this one is 1.44 1. MB. 1.44 MB. Yes, it's already, it's already I said the answer. It's already I said the answer. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right, all right. So we we'll stop here for today. I hope you had a wonderful time. Yes, sir. All right. Remember my yes, assignment. Sir. Assignment number one. What is Timothy? Send me the assignment, please. Reason number one. Pregnarizing. What is pregnarizing? Number two is what. No, I don't I don't know. Know. answer. A S C I I. Number three is what. Double word. Number four is word. And number five, add number five to it, which is that magnetic, the size of the magnetic. Mm -hmm. So we thank God. Any questions so far?
Any question? So if there's no question, I want to believe that we had a wonderful time together and we'll give God all the glory. Isn't it? Yes, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for this class. We thank you for teaching us yourself. We pray that this knowledge will remain in us and guide us and guide us. And this knowledge will multiply in us in Jesus' name. Father, Amen. Amen. By your holy name in Jesus. So have a wonderful Amen. weekend. See you Amen. in our next class. Bye. 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 B